In this video, we want to find whether the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 6n minus 1 over n factorial converges or diverges. In order to figure this out, we have to use the ratio test. So let's take the n plus first term divided by the nth term. For the n plus first term, we'll, we're going to replace n with n plus 1. Now for the numerator of the first fraction, we're going to distribute the 6 and simplify to get 6n plus 5. Everything else is going to stay the same. So right now I have a, a fraction at the top divided by a fraction at the bottom. That's going to be the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction, which will be n factorial over 6n minus 1. Now n plus 1 factorial can be rewritten as n plus 1 times n factorial. So the n factorial is going to cancel. And I'm left with 6n plus 5 over n plus 1. Multiply that by 1 over 6n minus 1. Now I'm going to FOIL out the two denominators. You get 6n squared plus 5n minus 1. And so now I have found the ratio of the n plus first term over the nth term. I need to find the limit as n approaches infinity. And technically I need to find the absolute value of that ratio. Well, it's pretty obvious that this limit has to be zero because when n is large enough, the more the most dominant term in the numerator is the 6n, and the more dominant term in the denominator is 6n squared. So we can essentially ignore the rest, and we know that 6n over 6n squared is basically 1 over n, and that's going to go to zero. Because this limit is less than 1, the series is going to converge by the ratio test. 